this jungle is my home. Hi, I'm Chanda. I'm 23 years old and I have always been hunting for living in the forest around here. I kill animals because my family is poor and I need to make money. This is the best I could do. We were looking for gibbon, elephant and deer. When we were going in the forest to hunt gibbon, we follow the sound. When they call, we can run fast to come close to them because they cannot hear us. When they stop calling, we also stop. We keep doing this until we are close to them. We have to do all we can to save the forest. We patrol this forest day and night, making sure there is nothing suspicious happening. Hi, I'm Abel, a Wildlife Alliance Ranger and the actual advisor of Western Pro Patrol Station, near Chipat. What we are doing here is protect the Cardamom National Park from poaching, logging and any other illegal activity. And we just came back from patrol with a load of confiscated timber. We have 11 stations in this area, with around 15 rangers assigned to our station. Sometimes we have clear destinations, other times we have to go off the track. We often find illegal villages, camps and traps all around protected areas. For the past 20 years, Wildlife Alliance has been constantly fighting any ecosystem threat. Myself, as the other rangers, decided to move here and join the Alliance because we respect nature and we need to protect it from people who don't care about it. After being confiscated from the poachers, the traps and the other objects get stored in the evidence room. Here you have the physical evidence of all the bad things that happen in the forest. Homemade guns to shoot at the gibbons, sensors to cut trees, nets to catch birds and snares to capture all kinds of mammals like civets, deers, sun bears and sometimes even elephants. Each object is a threat to the things that Wildlife Alliance is trying to protect, the forest and its inhabitants. There is the story of an elephant that was walking near the highway not long time ago, lost and couldn't find his way back to the forest. One person on a motorbike got scared when close to it. He dropped the motorbike and the elephant charged and completely destroyed it. This is the only damage it made. Later on, the authorities found out the motorbike was of a hunter. 
Animals know when someone has good or bad intentions. If you want to enter the wildlife world, you need to be accepted by them, by being patient, calm and respectful. Remember, you are just another animal. Elephants stay away from humans in the wild. They can smell and hear you from far. You know they have been around because you see broken trees and tracks everywhere. They are extremely intelligent and be careful if you hear them close. You better jump on a tree as soon as you can. The great hornbill is one of the biggest birds in this area. You can see them quite a lot, even near the villages. Their unique alien-like flying sound makes it easy to spot them also in the deep jungle, together with other birds and cicada skulls. Monkeys are smart, fast and playful. They mostly eat fruits and sometimes small rodents. When they are around, they make a lot of noise until they notice your presence. They then stop and don't move at all, so you're not able to find them.
manipulated gibbon coal is easily recognizable. They are monogamous and when a duet starts, that is them talking to each other, establishing their territory. Without wildlife, this place wouldn't exist. The nature here belongs to the animals, and we must do whatever it takes to help. Susday, my name is Chenda. I'm now a guy at the community center in Chipat. My job is to show the tourists, the forest, and the animals. I have been given a job as a local guide, and with this I could stop hunting. Before, I had to kill animals, because I didn't have another choice. Now it's different. I'm happy that I don't hunt animals, because animals are in a potent for the jungle. Without animal or tree, there is no jungle. I like animal and I want to show to people how beautiful they are. Before, my family was making $200 for every kibben sold. One kibben, $200. Now, I can take the tourists to the forest and show them the same gibbon over and over without killing it. With my knowledge, I can show to the tourists all the beautiful things about the forest and the animals. The jungle is my home and finally I'm taking care of it.